This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is Easter Sunday of the Resurrection of the Lord. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda, President of the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I'm Barb Zorn from Holy Family Parish in Poland and St. Columba Cathedral. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers deceased members of the Morel and Lettieri families. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christians, haste your vows to pay. Make your joy and praises known at the Paschal Victim's throne. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good to be with you on this Easter morning as we gather to celebrate God's love and presence. So let us together acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgive us our sins. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of good will. will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. 
To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This This is the the day day the Lord Lord has made. made. Let Let us us rejoice rejoice and be be glad. glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This This is is the the day day the Lord Lord has made. made. Let Let us rejoice rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. This This is is the the day day the Lord Lord has made. made. Let Let us us rejoice rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This This is is the the day the Lord Lord has made. made. Let Let us us rejoice rejoice and and be be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that bat combat stupendous. The prince of life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen, To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw 
and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, Easter is primarily a feast of life beyond the grave. But you know, the vast majority of us are more interested in this present life than in the life to come. Now, if we think about it, we really can't treat this life as if it were just a waiting room for the next life. Most of our immediate concerns are centered right here, right now. So, how are we doing with life? What are we making out of it? And where are we going with it? Those really are the real questions which need to be dealt with on a daily basis. Now, that is not to say that life beyond the grave is of no vital interest to us, far from it. There is one fact in life that keeps many people interested in the next life, and that fact is death. You know, death is one of those absolutes in life. And this is the place where Easter becomes a relevant part of this present world. Now, if we look at the experience of those early disciples on that first Easter morning, I think we'll discover that their concerns were very much like our own concerns. You know, one similarity was their love of people. You know, the burden of their heartbreak at Calvary was their love for the person on the central cross. When the women came to the tomb and Mary Magdalene early that Sunday morning, they were grieving for the one who was buried there. The most important thing in life for them was the tragic death of the one they loved so much. You know, by the same token, the most important things in our lives are our personal relationships, the people we know and love. You know, basic reality here and now is that we need other people. Think about it. Personality is the miracle of the universe, and the mind that ponders the distant stars is really far more marvelous than the stars themselves. But you know, these personalities are with us only for a while. Then they are gone. But what is this invisible spirit, this spirit of love which no eye has ever seen? My conviction is that that is the real person for which the body is only a temporary dwelling. Now the Easter message tells us that human personality is not destroyed by death. In the words of Longfellow, he said, Easter assures us that life is real, that life is earnest, and the grave is not its final goal. Now consider with me just one other point. The true glory of this present life is triumph over hardship. At our very best, we do not ask for a life of ease or comfort. We are at our best when we accept the challenge of a task and the opportunity to win a victory. You know, Jesus had done that many times throughout his life, but he did not give in to hating, even when he was hated. And he was discouraged, but he never threw in the towel. And he was disappointed, but Jesus never turned to cynicism. And he was tempted, but he never sinned. Victory after victory. Now at last, could it be that death had defeated him? Now, in the early part of the 20th century, Helen Keller went to the University of Glasgow in Scotland, where she was presented with an honorary doctorate. And there she stood both blind and deaf, while the president of the university read the citation, and her teacher spelled in her hand what was being said. Then she was led to the podium for a brief speech, the closing words of which were these, darkness and silence need not bar the progress of the immortal spirit. A Scottish reporter telling the story at the time wrote, there was a thunderous applause of which she could not hear or see. 
My concern this Easter is not life beyond the grave. What I want to know is whether that scene represents life right here, right now. Victory over hardship, victory over handicap, victory over sin. Does a story end there? Does it not go on to include victory over death? The angel said, he is not here, he is risen. He was victorious in death as in life, and he invites us all to share in his victory. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so in response to the six questions, I ask you to say, I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Humbly now, let us present to God our special petitions. For God's holy church, that we may always be a visible sign of the risen Lord in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all people, especially those living in the darkness of despair, whether due to war, oppression, captivity, or poverty, that they may see the light of the risen Christ in their corner of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to divisions in our world, our country, our community, and our families, that the peace of Christ may heal whatever separates us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those newly baptized members of the church, that their joy in their new life in Christ may enter their hearts and remain with them forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us here celebrating the resurrection of Christ together, that we may bring that joy to our family members, friends, and neighbors who cannot be here today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we rejoice on this Easter day, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, your Son, and our Savior, as we strive to follow him faithfully in this life, winning victory over all things. One day welcome us to eternal life in your kingdom. We make this prayer in the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the Then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia.